In this video, you're gonna learn how to create this tower inside Unreal, 100% inside Unreal, without the need to go outside the editor. You will learn how to model it, how to texture it, how to apply materials, how to combine elements, and much more. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started. Let's activate the modeling tools. If you don't have it, remember, go to plugins, modeling tools, editor mode, and click enable. And I'm gonna create a cylinder here, and I'm gonna put it here. Are you? you can see looks a little bit crazy it's because the normals are aligned here so i just need to uncheck align to normals and i will have my cylinder there you go beautiful now what i need to do is to scale this up a little bit we can make it a little bit bigger just like this find a height you want let's say this is something we really want to have so now that we have this let's we need to do something else because if we check this mesh here it's still very small so we need to edit the transform so go to transform bake transform accept all right so another thing we need to do is to add the protection that the tower has so let's go to let's go to our poly edit let's click here and let's hit inset and this will give us an inset here we can use this one and click accept and then we go to our triangle selection make it very slow very low and then let's select all this just by clicking you don't need to hold anything click click here there you go. And once you have it, what you can do is create a polygroup. Click accept. Nothing will happen. So what we need to do is to go to our polygroups. And you will see that I have this group of polygons that I can select easily now. So I can just click extrude. Something like that. All right. Great. Now what I want to do is to modify the edges of this. So let's go to our poly edit. Poly edit here again. And let's select the edges here. Let's try to be very precise. Select all of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And what I want to do is to move them down a little bit so I can have an interesting design. Great, let's accept. And now what I want to do is to duplicate this one and I will create a new asset by duplicating. I will delete the sources, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is to do a pin cut, okay? And I will go like this, something very, very small, okay? Something like that. And what I wanna do is to put this one here so, so I can have my weird thing that all the castle have so i will click on this one then click on this one and then click on align transform align and i will put the last selected will move into all axis okay uh, last selected will be the one that will be aligned for click accept then click on this one and then move move this one down a little bit all right and now that we have this uh, we can bake the transforms and now we have another part of our building let's see we can put it here also put it here and also put it here just like that all right so there is one last thing i want to do and is to taper this so how i'm gonna do this is very simple I'm going to do a loop insert and actually I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go here I'm gonna duplicate this one okay duplicate and I'm gonna go to my plane cut just like this all right and I'm gonna use the FFT modifier so if I go to my lattice mode here 
go to lattice you will see i have all these points i can move for example i can move this one and i can deform my mesh in my case i want a two by two by two so i will select all the points here select by control i mean shift not control click all of those all right and let's find the last one there you go you can also go to this mode to select all of those okay actually i need to select only the ones at the bottom so what i will do is to select like this all these meshes here all right now that i have all of this i will scale it up a little bit just like that all right and now that i have this i just need to align the two of those so i will select this two transform align i will not align into c so i can have something like this okay and let's make sure if i go to my poly edit this one is in the right position so let's move it down a little bit all right and now let's hide this with h and let's move this one up a little bit so let's go to our poly edit go here and then go up just like that then click accept and now we have our tower now there is one more thing we need to do uh we're going to combine those we're gonna click those and then go to uh, append and i will create a new asset all right so now this is my new asset and now what i want to do is to create some uvs so i will uv this i will click on project and i can check the checkerboard if i want just like that and what i want to select this is the cylinder and now what i can do is to actually change the size of the cylinder like 1.5 1.5 something like this or i can make it smaller like 0 0.5 0 0.5 something like that or we can actually make this one like this we can make the squares look nice all right all right now that we have our tower we just need to add some textures into it so let's go back here to our content browser and we have some materials from megascans we can grab this one we can grab another one here and another one here all right and now that we have this we need to fix the uvs so we're gonna do that very easy we're gonna go here and go to uvs and layout and um, we will check with the original material and we, we will do is to transform and we will scale it like two three four maybe eight it looks like a ni nice number so let's skip it and actually change the material for anything actually like for example we want to use this can actually use this one we also have other materials here with, that we can use for example we could use this one and we can apply this material to another part of our mesh so if i drag this one here you will see that all my tower is changing and i don't want that so what i will do is to select all this and i will assign a new material so let's go to material edit and actually let's save this map s05 let's go to material edit and let's paint all this okay just like that it's very easy because we have a lower amount of polygons there you go uh, now that you have that uh, we, we can add another material and this one can be the selected material one we can put one here and we can put our old stone uh, which maybe is this one i don't know 
Perhaps this one. Okay, let's just see. Let's just try here. Okay. And now that we have this, make sure you have selected number one. And then click Assign Selected Material. Click Accept. And now you will have different materials for your different parts of your mesh. Uh, we can fix this one by projecting the UVs. Let's do a project cylinder. Or we can even do an auto unwrap. Okay, we can normalize the world, normalize the bonds. And you can see all of them are updated. And we can do the layout again. We can transform by four, something like that. There you go. And there you have it. Now we have our beautiful tower. So the last thing we want to do is to actually correct this. Let's duplicate this one and put it here. And also we want to select all of those and combine into a new asset. So let's go to our modeling tools and click append combined new. And now we have our tower, which we can duplicate and put into different parts of our map. Last but not least, Let's try to put some meshes here so that we can decorate this a little bit better. can put something like this. Put like some rocks here. Something like that. And also we can add some fog here. If we go to visual effects, exponential hate fog. We can go here to zero. Go to directional to zero. And activate the volumetric fog which should be around here. Now that we have this, now we have our tower working perfectly. So if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, make sure you check the links in the description so you can get more help. And if you got any comment, let us know which kind of video you would like to watch. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.